Hello Year 9 and welcome to your third live lesson YouTube tutorial. As we are going to continue into our second week of our Remix project. So when you log in, you should see your previous assignment that you would have submitted and already hand in so you can no longer access, as well as a your new Remix project that we've been working on. So I'm going to click on it and open it up. Um, once you open it up, you should receive, you'll see a bit of feedback that I gave you from previous weeks, what you needed to do to improve it as well as the new assignment brief as shown on here is the old one but when you log in you will be able to see the new set of instructions on how to complete the lesson but it will also be listed on show my homework so we're going to open this up in the mix editor when you open up in the mix editor the assignment brief will pop up as normal so we're just going to click that to close that and out of the way and let's just refresh our memories on what we did last week so i'm going to press play It's getting late, I'm making my way over to my favorite place I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way Okay, brilliant. So we can see here that the chords don't start exactly in time. I'm going to give you an example and I'm going to count it. And our chords should hit on each different um, number. So I'll give you an example. So if we give us a count in, so... We turn on our click. It's getting late. Three, four, I'm making one, my way three, over to four, my favorite place. Three, I gotta four, get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way. So as you notice, this first section is correct. If we count it again, on every one, our new chord should be played. So let's have a listen. Getting late. Three, four, I'm one, making my way three, over four, to my favorite one, place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way. It's like slightly, just slightly behind the other other one. So as you can see on the MIDI editor, if I double click or I click on it and I click MIDI editor, you will see that each one of these chords start exactly on the line. Otherwise, this one. And the other set of chords don't. They start slightly behind. Now that is probably the reason why it sounds slightly out when you look at it. So what we need to do to fix that is we need to make sure and highlight each set of chords in each one of our bars. And we also need to, we're going to quantize it. So we're used to quantizing in Logic. And we can do the exact same thing on the on band labs door as as well as you can do on any door because it's a very important part of production and music technology it's quantizing to make sure that each beat falls in line so we've highlighted all of these we're going to do it out of one of 16 just keep it and we're going to just press quantize so i'm going to highlight that again press quantize. now that has moved these ones in but i'm going to just check this one let's bring this our what's the back? It's getting late. So I'm gonna move these forward. Just hear that. It's getting late. Better. I'm making my way these over to perfect. my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress. Away. So we need to do the exact same thing with this bar. Now I'm gonna highlight these four. Okay, and I'm gonna click quantize. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it at the start of 7. That way I know that it's going to start right on the 1. Because the start of where 7 is, if we have a look here, that is the beginning of this next set. So we're gonna stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way. Possible candidate. Yeah. So we've got to do the next thing with this set. So I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way. Possible candidate, yeah. Who knew that you'd be up in here looking like you do? You make them staying over here impossible. Baby, 
baby, I'ma say your aura is incredible If you don't have to go, don't So now that we know what it sounds like, we need to add and create our drum machine track So we're going to go to add track, I'm going to click drum machine And again, it comes up with my pre-made pattern um, I'm going to open up to open up your drum machine editing tool Click on the particular one you want to do and then click instrument and it shows you the pattern you can play it either all together or you can play it without so let's hear it from the beginning just with this it's getting late i'm making my way over to my favorite place i gotta get my body move and shake this now because i have set my sample to the correct bpm on the track on the project and i have made sure that my chords are starting on the ones on each one either using quantize and if quantize not working going in and editing further um on the midi editor and so that's why when i add the drum machine and we use the see we see the band labs pre-made pattern it is already in time because we've gone through those steps it now already all flows together so i don't like these drum patterns either one of them i'm going to delete this one completely here and again, I can use A and B are pre-made patterns that Bandlab provides, but C, D, E, F, G, and H, you can create your own, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into C and we're gonna create our own drum pattern. Now it will automatically show A, but again C is where we get to make our own one. So let's start, I like to always start with a kick as it gives me my pose. Now, add this as C. So this is just a pattern. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to put it in there. Now, the reason why I've decided to keep quite an upbeat feel, that's just the way I want to make my remix, but you could decide to completely slow it down. We're going to add that. And then to make it longer, you go to where the arrow bit is, you just drag across. Let's hear it. It's getting late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. Yeah. I wasn't That doesn't really go. Have a listen. Let's hear it again. Getting late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving. Now, I think one of the reasons is the snare is on the one and there's no kick. Let's have a listen without the snare. Late, I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the okay. stress. Get that sounds a bit better. Let's see if we just put the kick on and see what it sounds like. Get late, I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress. Now, I think that works well as a second little drum pattern. So that could be a good little here. It's gonna, we're doing it opposite, but sometimes that happens. So now we're gonna try and look at a D pattern. So. It might not work. It's 
gonna add D again and go back oh let me go back and do you need to make sure when you add one that you don't do it over what this is otherwise it goes blank so we're gonna add D we're gonna drag it and then extend it for four there we go and then we're gonna drag this I'll cut our cursor to where it needs to be go to C and then add and then we need to drag it for four and then we've got that whole section let's have a listen in. it's getting late i'm making my way over to my favorite place i gotta get my body moving shake the stress away i wasn't looking for no this and made sure that each one of our chords start on the one and you can see it really clearly even when I'm just looking at my mixing desk and mixing screen I can just see if I look down three there's one starts four it starts exactly five six that's when I know my chords are hitting each place where I need to be now if you've decided to diversify your chords so by that I mean say let's go on the instrument for a second and I'll just show you an example so, so if I do E minor so if you've gone it's itself as well your first chord set of chords in that pattern so that's one two three four five so there'd be five little breaks of patterns here kind of small patterns each one of those or the beginning of each one would still start on the beginning of each one of these numbers and the smaller part the repeats of the pattern would start on these smaller little pieces here so if you have any questions, make sure to ask me in the live lesson. Failing that, send me a message on Show My Homework and I'll answer them as soon as possible. But please make sure that you followed each one of these steps. Feel free to pause the video at any point. This is a resource for you to really understand and follow along step by step. If you follow it along step by step, you should be able to do the exact same here.